Thanks, everyone. Um, I think 5.30 on a Friday is a bit of a sort of hospital pass when it comes to giving a speech when we've got a bar about 10 yards away. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to, to Maddie for um, helping us out here. Um, you've been a fantastic moderator today. I apologise to Jamie, or for Jamie, excuse me. He's, he's dying to speak to you after, isn't he? He can speak to you, I can assure you. Um, Andrew, um, your mint tulip cocktail is waiting for you, um, as requested. Um, so to start, start by thanking um, the outgoing chairs, um, Paul um, and Michael. I think it's just worth bearing in mind kind of the situation that, that Paul inherited when he came to um, the table here and, and, and bringing everybody together. Um, I think he was very modest earlier on in, in um, his achievement in terms of bringing organisations together. We have 20 members, um, seven associate members, um, and I think the energy that uh, has been shown um, in the last three or four years to get to this point is, is massive testament to, to him. Um, and I hope he looks um, around himself today and is incredibly proud to bring everybody together like this is, is a hell of an achievement. Um, not least that he was thrown um, a few curveballs along the way with COVID, um, online explosions in betting and, and all sorts of other challenges. Um, I sincerely hope we have an easier time ahead, uh, Hassel and myself. Um, as I stand in front of Westminster, I hope we can last longer than Quasi Quartang and, and Liz Truss. Um, the storm clouds are, are, are gathering there. Um, but I would just really encourage um, more of what we've seen today, which is you know, a huge input from, from everybody here um, and from all, all the associate members. I think you know, we feel very strong in the collective approach we have you know, generally, genuinely is a, a world tote association um, with members from across the world, whether it be the US, Europe, Asia, um, Australasia. So we feel very, very privileged and we very much look forward to the, to the years ahead. Um, a massive thank you to all the speakers today. Um, I found it um, particularly interesting, so interesting that I actually tore up my speech and, and just sort of thought I'd, I'd come through with some notes of, of um, what I've taken out of today. Um, I think pool betting um, you know, I believe passionately in. I think it, it, it has huge points of differentiation. Um, and, you know, some of the, the, the takeouts that, that I certainly took was just the, the genuine sense of, of opportunity to collaborate. Um, I think, you know, we have a very, very um, aggressive and um, um, competitive fixed odds environment in the UK. And when you look around, you know, the sense of partnership we have here amongst um, the world's totes, I think we feel very, very privileged and um, just the, the art of the possible um, in terms of what's been achieved by things like Whirlpool, you know, are demonstrative of, of what we can achieve going forward. You know, that, as, as Hong Kong um, have constantly reiterated to us, feels like the, the first of many, many stages um, and, um, you know, a real template to what we can achieve going forward. I think the other um, sort of opportunity that we have that has been brought out of, of so many of today's um, conversations is the opportunity to show audiences um, that what is what, such a wonderful sport around the world. And Whirlpool you know, really, really expanded on the audience. Um, and I'd also like to thank um, Rodeo and, and Ruth. Um, you know, we have to be very, very considerate as we roll out and what's, you know, it is an amazing product, but we, I think, along the way, need to be extremely considerate, more considerate than ever before. In terms of what we can achieve for the industry, and this ties into the welfare and environmental issues, um, you know, there is a template here that's been built by Whirlpool. Um, in terms of prize money, I think there's a huge amount we can deliver. We saw from um, York's prize money this year reaching record levels, um, almost doubling on what um, York had last year for Whirlpool days just shows what, what can be achieved um, in terms of the direct impact from Whirlpool. Um, and I think customers getting you know, a totally differential experience. Um, the guys here were just um, predominantly talking about um, the opportunity of, of low stakes and high returns. Um, you don't need customers to lose um, for, for um, sorry, in fixed odds, you, know, you need customers to lose for, for um, um, the house to win and you have the reverse um, in a volume game with, with, well, with, um, with co-mingling and with the pool system more generally. I also think we're in a tremendously strong position when it comes to the regulator. You know, ensuring a safe platform is something that we have worked on extremely hard in, in um, WOTA to date. The idea of, of local regulation 
and international liquidity is tremendously attractive um, for um, customers and governments alike. Um, I think the point that Tunsil made on, on integrity is tremendously important there as well. Common rules, I believe strongly that um, the Whirlpool template has shown that, that we can common rule. Um, in terms of bringing countries together, um, we do have differences, as um, Eric was talking about, in terms of fourth place in some countries and third in others, um, all sorts of challenges there. But Whirlpool showed with 17 events that common rules are eminently achievable. And I think it's something we should really, really consider very seriously going forward. But the days of static wooden pricing and poor tech experience when it comes to tote have to be behind us. And as Jamie was referring to, it's kind of, it's a, a relentless pursuit of what we can do better. That's when we finally got Jamie off the stage and away from the microphone. <laughs> um, so my final piece is just to thank Florence and Harold hugely for all they've done for us today um, and throughout the year and past years with, with WOTA. Um, and with that in mind, I think Susanna has a small gift for um, Florence. Where is that? Thank you very much, Florence. You've been absolutely patient and uh, ex ex absolutely brilliant with all you've done uh, over the year. Um, so with that, um, we all sort of meander towards the bar. I look forward to seeing everybody at Ascot tomorrow. Hope everyone's got their tickets. Um, if you haven't, please um, do check in and, and see us, and we'll sort, uh, sort all that out. Um, it is the final day of Whirlpool, um, so I hope you'll enjoy what should be a fantastic day's racing. But thank you all, and see you all shortly. <laughs>